Hi guys, um, Ultimate Annie &E fan here. Uh, I know that a lot of people have who have NR2002 probably wanted to learn how to paint. Um, there's probably other videos like this on YouTube, but I'm just gonna keep it general and do my own. Um, this is my way. Uh, if you guys have anything to add to this, uh, just post as a video response or a comment. Um, so yeah, let's go. Anyway, this is going to be painting with GIMP. And you have to, and to get GIMP, Google it, go to their site, download it. That's what I did. Anyway, go ahead and open it up. What I'm gonna do here, okay. Uh, and once this now, this will probably take a while to open up. So, uh, anyway, once this opens up, you're gonna learn the basic stuff on how to um, do GIMP and how to make a uh, cool car. Anyway. Here, as it's starting now, what you want to get is you're going to come up with these cool t three things. They're your layer guys. Okay, you want to. So first of all, you're want to gonna you want to download a car template, which can be downloaded at Robert Cage Inc. Um, just Google it. And oop, I clicked the wrong thing. My bad. <laughs> anyway, you want to go file, open, and then. I have these stuff here that and I'm gonna click on my template file and here I'm going to open up this Toyota base that I downloaded um, from Robert Cage Inc. Cre all credit goes to them. Anyway, so I've got my base here and it looks great. Well, what we're gonna do now is we're going to put on a car body. And see over here you can see all the layers and stuff. Don't take anything off the toolbox and stuff. Anyway, we're going to open an image, and then we're going to go find some more templates, and let's go, let's try and find, ooh, Robbie Gordon. Uh, this is going to be Robbie Gordon base. Now, I downloaded this from Maz Graphics, and, what Ma and you probably all know what Maz Graphics is. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to try and put this on the body of the car. So what we got to do first is... See over here, we want to merge these together. So we're going to click here, and where it says, I'll, here down the bottom, it says Merge Visible Layers. You want to click that, and then click Merge, and then you have one full layer. Now there's going to be a problem. You can't just copy and paste this. You have to go Layer, Scale Layer, and you're going to be painting and our 2002 cars are in low resolution. So low resolution is 512 by 512. So you want to enter 512 in here where it says width and it'll change the same. You want to click scale and it'll scale it to a smaller one. Then you can go control control plus C and that's basically control plus copy. Open this up, edit, paste, and then there you go. You have Robbie Gordon's base layer on there. Now what it's going to do is it's going to layer it as a floating layer. You got to come over here and it says anchor down. Anchor the floating layer. Click that and now it's officially part of it. Now that we have that, click don't save if you want to make it for NR2003 anytime soon. So now you have our basic base. And you want to go now to file. Now say you want some sponsors on the car. I'm going to go file, open. I'm going to go into my sponsors number. I'm going to say I want it to be sponsored by Burger King. So I'm going to open this. It's PSD base. You have to get PSD. And you're just going to open it. And now this is going to be pretty generally easier. You just go Control plus C and that'll copy it. You just got to go Edit, Paste. Now don't be shocked if it looks big. Go over here where it says Scale Tool. Click that and then click where you want what you want to scale. Over here, then it'll let you scale it. You can move it from side to side. And then you can move it down. Now, move it, you want to move it down so that it can go over the hood in a good way. And then, if you want to just preview it, click scale. And if that looks good, then you're good. Now, one thing I've learned do not anchor it down before you have rotated it. So, you're going to go up here and click the rotate tool in your toolbox and then you want to select a place to rotate you want to click that and then say I want to rotate it 90 degrees 
You're going to rotate that. Does it look good? No, it doesn't. So you want to rotate it now 180 degrees. And then, now does it look good? I think it does, but I think I'm going to move that up a little bit more. Just click the scale tool and then move it up to the, wherever you want it. Click scale. It'll scale it for you. Anchor down when it looks good. And there you have it. You have a primary sponsor. Now then we're just going to close out of this so we don't have an overflow of stuff. Then we're going to click file open again to get a number well generally it's the same thing for numbers so now if you want some side decals I'm gonna open up my sponsors and these are the contigs that they call them I call them side decals but whatever generally you guys want to call them it doesn't really mind me now these will take a while to load up because there's so many layers on them but um, they'll load up eventually now what you want to do now is you want to take you want to make sure that these are not visible the credits are not visible then I'm just gonna take some random some random stuff um, some random ones and we're gonna scale these down so keep in mind these are 512 click scale it'll scale them now there's a problem here I don't know why this does it, but 512 and then by 512. Scale it. Now sometimes there's we're going to be a problem. Make sure that this is clicked. I know I did that wrong. Scale layer. 512 by 512. There. Now generally, then you just do the classic copy and paste. Now obviously as you can see, you want to click up here to the move tool and then you want to move them around to where they look good, anchor that down, and there you go, you have a perfect thing. Now to save it, you want to go file, save as, now this is very important if you want to get it into the game. You go local disk C or wherever your 2002 is located, Papyrus, come Papyrus. NASCAR Racing 2002 season exports and imports and then you want to save it as a .tga and in order to do that as well you have to save it as a .tga and then you want to click save and then it'll say all the stuff just click just basically press enter through those and then it'll be all good thank you for watching hope you had this was informative um